Okay, here we've got a tricky Calculus 1 question. It seems pretty straightforward when we first read it. We've seen lots of, uh, you know, equations of tangent lines and tangent line passing through certain points. But what's interesting about this one is it says, find the points on the curve y equals x squared plus 6, whose tangent lines pass through the point 2, 1. First thing we should notice is that 2, 1 is not on this curve. If we plug in 2, we get y equals 2 squared plus 6, which is 10. That is not equal to 1 right here. So this point's just hanging out somewhere outside of the curve, and there's tangent lines coming off of this curve that go through that line, and we have to figure out where they're tangent to the curve. So it's a little bit complex. I'm going to draw a picture to sort of sketch this out and see what might be happening. A very small picture at that. Uh, actually, let's make it a little bit bigger. So x squared plus 6, I know that that's just the x squared function, but it's 6 up. So I'm just going to do a very basic sketch here, something like that. And then the point 2, 1, again, is just hanging out here. So 2, 1, it's somewhere like right there, I'll say. So they're saying, okay, there are two tangent lines, or determine the points on the curve whose tangent lines pass through the point 2, 1. And we can see that there's going to be two tangent lines because, again, these will be basic sketches, but if we do something, there's a tangent there that goes through the line. It's not perfect. And then there's, there's going to be a tangent on this side, too, that goes through that point. Remember, my point is right there. That's 2, 1. So that's kind of the picture we're looking for, and we're looking, our answers are going to be the point here on the curve where it's tangent and the point here on the curve where it's tangent, where those tangent lines go through uh, to 1. Uh, the trick to this question, it becomes really simple once we label these points x, y. These are some arbitrary points x, y, and even further to that, we can label them x, comma, we know y is equal to x squared plus 6. So I'm just substituting out y for x squared plus 6 because we know those points are on the function. Now we use our knowledge of derivatives, uh, which are the slopes of the tangent line, and our basic rise over run uh, equation because we can set those slopes equal to each other. So first things first, what's y prime equal to? y prime when y equals x squared plus 6 is just 2x. So we know the slope of any tangent, slope of tangent. Any tangent will be 2x, where x just depends on where it is on the curve. But we also know the slope between any point with these coordinates and 2, 1. Slope is just rise over run, so it's x squared plus 6 minus 1, that's y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1, which is 2. Again, I'm just taking, this is very, you know, grade 10 math, one point to another point, the slope between them is just y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I can now set this as the slope of the tangent equal to this as the slope, and then everything's in terms of x. So it's 2x equals this x squared plus 6 minus 1 over x minus 2. I'll put that in brackets so it's easier to see. That might help up here too. Uh, and then we just solve. So I'm going to cross multiply and we get 2x squared minus 4x equals x squared plus 6 minus 1. Everything to one side because it's a quadratic. This will be x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. Factor and we get x minus 5. x plus 1 equals 0. So x must equal 5 or negative 1. And you can see that that actually sort of seems to make sense for our drawing here. You know, this point right here looks like it's at about 5. And this point, while my drawing might not be great, that can be about negative 1, and it sort of makes sense. So it says determine the points. So the last thing I'll do is plug in 5 and negative 1 back to my original. And I'll get 5 comma 5 squared is 25 plus 6 is 31 so 5 comma 31 or negative 1 squared is 1 plus 6 is 7 so these are the two points where that can happen that's 31 these are the two points for my answer but again anytime you're 
faced with a point that's not on the curve but we're dealing with tangents, use your rise over run. This little y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, that must be equal to the slope of the tangent, which we know is just the derivative of the curve. So hopefully that, that helps. Uh, you can always upload more questions to AT now. You can find that on the App Store. Thanks so much.